today is a very special occasion. We are happy that each of you is here to share in the joy of this ceremony. The ceremony will begin in a few moments. Also, please remember to turn off the ringers of your cell phones. We are proud to present our graduating class at the Lee Story Academy. Please stand and welcome our dignitaries and graduates for me. Thank you. <laughs> we are proud to present you. There you go. <laughs> And now we're going to give the mic to Louis Stewart, our one and only. We have to stand again so that we have to pledge allegiance. Is it stand for the fair? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with justice for all. You may be seated. Welcome to this outstanding event tonight. It represents the culmination of a high school career, common school career. It's a wonderful student. I'm honored to be a part of the program. I'm honored to be a part of the Tacoma School District. And to our school board members, and to our superintendent, and to the staff of the Winnesota Academy, thank you. Thank you for the leadership that you've given. A theme I would like to emphasize today is one of courage. It's a virtue that we all need to have. Winston Churchill said, if you don't have courage, none of the other virtues mean anything. You will have an opportunity to do right, to make some tough decisions, but make them on the basis of having courage. Now that you're here, you have an obligation to say to your parents, thank you, thank you for supporting me. And I know before the night is over, you will say the same thing to your marvelous principal and the staff, because they have shown the way to you hiking the accomplished. And so I'm very proud of you. And I would hope that someday you'll stay in Tacoma, support the school district, vote for the letters, vote for the bond issues, and be super parents like your parents have been to you. Thank you very much. At this point, I'd like to introduce our speaker for this, for this occasion, the student, Jamel Bingham. I asked him, what well, should I say about you to introduce you? I said, in the presence of the person, I said, you like the person? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a great student? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to start off by uh, thanking the man above, or the higher above, the universe. And secondly, I want to thank all my peers and all my teachers for making the path easier for me. And um, I just want to say to everyone, Everyone has a gift. You just have to believe in it. Everyone in this room does. You can obtain anything. So no matter your age, no matter where you are in your life, you can achieve something. You can go forward in life. You just have to believe. So I went through a long battle this year of going through Bates Technical College, regular high school, and then I finally came to this school. And um, I didn't know what I was getting into. I was very uncomfortable, which is a great thing. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable in life. So I took that leap and I'm here today. And I wanna thank Miss Stacy Green for opening the door that day. And she's one of the only people that got my name right. It was like Joe Mill, Big Ham. 
So it was very easy for us. It was like one of nobody. And then I had a meeting with our principal. And I just kept it very black and white in what I wanted. And I stayed persistent through that. And yes, I could have graduated in June. I could say that, but I made it today. And we all made it today. So I want to just tell everyone to just stay positive, stay with a great mindset, and you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. And I want to thank everyone for coming out to support us today, for your family or not. I still appreciate you all. And I want to thank, I truly want to thank Miss M for helping me like be like a second mom to me. And yes, I, I have a mother. She's been the greatest mother to me. But I've had her, her guidance through the school to help me. And what you can really ask for in life is genuine, genuine people. And I found that here. So Willie Stewart Academy, I don't know anything negative that's been heard or said about it. But one thing is that they're real and genuine, and that's all you can ask for. And another thing I want to thank is uh, Mr. Stewart for allowing every African-American principal to have their job today. Because without them and setting the path for everyone, there would be no us. So I, I, I appreciate, appreciate you. And it just wasn't for principals either. So. So I appreciate you for that, and I appreciate you for giving me the opportunity to allow me to go to your school. And um, lastly, I will say to the graduates, congratulations in your class of 2022, no matter if it's June or December. You guys you made. So thank you guys for everything. And lastly, I want to talk about my mother because um, most mothers don't um, wake their kids up every day, do their laundry. And I really had it easy for the most part. And she has been there every single day, 24 hours a day. And I don't want to say her business, but she has health problems. And she's really been wonder woman to me. And I never know when she's sick or having a bad day. So why? put that negative energy out in the world when I don't have any sicknesses. So I say to you to keep going because there's always someone in worse shoes than you. Or not worse, but not as good shoes as you always in this world. There's eight billion people on this planet. You have to know that you are doing better than someone here. So keep going. And I just appreciate my mother. I appreciate my father. <coughs> And I truly appreciate my mother for blessing me and guiding me for 18 years of my life. And I'm ready to start my journey to manhood. So I thank you guys all for allowing me to talk. And I was only going to talk for 45 seconds. But obviously that was a little longer. But I thank you guys. And um, I hope you guys have a safe night tonight. And peace be with you. Thank you, Jomil. Well, I am really proud of all eight of these graduates. I um, have the best job in the world tonight, and watching you guys work so hard makes me um, makes it all worth it. Um, and we are so proud of you. Um, I want to welcome all of all of our students and families and our dignitaries. Um, I um, am going to present the graduation declaration, but I just want to say thank you to our staff too. Our staff works so hard um, to help our students and go above and beyond, and I'm proud to be a part of that team as well. Um, you guys have worked through some challenging times, and you're sitting here tonight. You should uh, remember this night forever, because we don't get these moments, like I was telling you in the room, very often. So relish it, and make sure you um, reach out to someone tonight and thank them as well. So practice that gratitude and keep that hope alive. And that's one thing that you guys remind us every day is that we have to continue to have hope. So if you all remember one thing tonight is keep hope alive.
So I am uh, ready to present you guys um, as graduates. So I, um, by the authority vested in me by the state of Washington, I certify that the Willie Stewart Academy has met the requirements as stipulated by the state of Washington and Tacoma School District number 10, which would entitle you, them to a diploma. I hereby present these students, students to the superintendent of Tacoma Public Schools, Dr. Josh Garcia. Congratulations, graduates. Joelle, I want to agree with you. Everyone in this room has talents. One thing I've learned and one of the reasons that we're so proud of you is, is some folks have managed, learned, been blessed, gifted to recognize that persistence trumps talent. Persistence trumps talent. You have earned your graduation diploma, just like every other graduate. There isn't a set time. Yours is equal to someone that earned it in seven years, 10 years, or three and a half years, through your persistence. You have captured your talent and match that with persistence. And we are so proud of each of you for harnessing that. And make no mistake, that will be the key to your success as you move forward. Whether or not you will have the courage to persist through difficult times, challenging times, joyful times, just as you have demonstrated to get to this point. Yeah. With the assurance of Principal Renee Fromling that the Willie Stewart Academy Class of 2022 has met the requirements for graduation, it is my pleasure to present the Class of 2022 to school board member Corey Strozier for graduation. Congratulations, graduates. Okay, now we're getting down to the good part. Y'all ready to be considered graduated? Let's get this thing over with. Check this out. <laughs> when you when, when you walk out of this building, the reality is life awaits. Okay, life awaits. Uh, and when you wake up every single day, you have two two options. You've got a chance and a choice. A chance to recognize your greatness and a choice to walk in it or not. So hold that. Okay, hold that. Make the right decision. By the power vested in me, by the state of Washington, and with the assurance of Superintendent Garcia that you have met the requirements for graduation, I declare this. Willie Stewart Academy Class of 2022 graduated. Congratulations. teacher at Willie Stewart Academy. Since we are a smaller school, we get the chance to say a few words about the graduates as they get to walk across the room tonight. So as I say their name, feel free to cheer and show them how excited you are that they are graduating. So our first graduate, Benjamin Baca. <laughs> Benjamin hasn't had it easy. While life has been a struggle at times, he has kept pushing forward with determination and focus to get his diploma. He works incredibly hard at his job and was able to give his full attention to his many hours at both work and school. Responsibilities, but his spirit seems to lighten the load. He is mature, self-aware, and focused on his future. 
Jomil is a compassionate soul who will continue to make a positive impact in his community. Rev seems kind and quiet. Over time, we have gotten to know him as not only friendly, but he's really funny. He's a passionate person who is a wonderful listener and doesn't shy away from asking for help when he needs it. Grace Fernandez. Grace yeah. carries himself with a positive attitude. He knows what needs to get done and self advocates for himself to make sure he gets what he needs. He has a bright future ahead of him. Courtney Hayden. <laughs> this young lady has been through a lot, but nothing will keep her from sticking to her commitments. Courtney is always, was always social with any staff member and student who would chat with her. Her consistently positive attitude brought a great energy to the school. Xavier Hernandez. <laughs> Xavier is creative, loves to read books, and thinks outside the box. He is always willing to share his knowledge of cultures and myths or to play a game of chess. Xavier is always ready to share his perspective on the world and never fails to pique your interest during a conversation. Marcus Peña Artiega. For Marcus, life got in the way of completing school, but when he was ready, he reached out on his own to make it happen. He always has a warm and friendly demeanor. Marcus wants to follow in his brother's footsteps and become an electrician. Andrew Smith. Andrew is highly intelligent, capable, creative, and charismatic. He is a voracious reader. He knows what works for him and what may hold him back. Andrew has a pleasant demeanor, a positive aura, and he is easy to be around. Stand up now. Face the audience. Go ahead. Stand up. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you all for coming tonight. Graduates, you'll notice your diploma covers are empty. So on your way out, check out with Miss Rivera for your diploma. And there's some cupcakes on the way out as well. We, um, on behalf of the staff and the entire Tacoma Public School District, we are incredibly proud of this class. Thank you so much. Graduates, congratulations. You may now move your tassel to the left. Woo!